All right. Welcome, Internet. I'm so excited. I'm so He's so excited. He just can't hide it. All right. So I've been waiting a little bit to do this one, but you finally get to. We're finally going to be able to look at the Rogue One, a Star Wars story trailer. The yes. official one. The, the official one. one. Not, not the one that we got from before. It was a teaser trailer. It yeah. was a teaser. It was a pretty big teaser, but this, this is the actual official yes. one. I remember I was excited for the teaser trailer itself, too, but now that we got ourselves, like, you know, a well put actual story trailer, we may get, like, a little bit more of the hypnosis of what's going on, but we already have an idea that, you know, before uh, the very first Star Wars came out, there's a team who dared to go into the dark side area and retrieve the planet's Death Star, um, and that's what this is all about, and now we're going to see some more snippets, yes. maybe a little bit more characters, Hopefully. and... We have a uh, pup here. Burr, burr, burr. He's a husky. Uh, I call him Blue Angel slash Ghost. My mom calls him Angel. He's adorable. Yes, yeah, real adorable. Let's get started. I want to see this trailer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so I'm just going to put you away. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> You're wrong. Anytime I'm excited about the duck, this is right now trailer. Right. <laughs> Does that need to be it? Okay, look up the pilot. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. Full screen it. All right, clicking start. You see the audio still rolling too. That's always an important part. An important part. Yeah. Okay, that's rolling. And audio still going. Oh, okay. Okay. Full screen. You forgot to kill yourself. <sighs> yeah, you're. I'm excited. All right, <laughs> clicking start now. Hmm. Audio. Okay. Quality's kind of. The low. world. Is coming undone. Oh, man. Yeah, the usual flags rain across the galaxy. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Let's just get this over with, shall we? We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know how to destroy it. If you're really doing this, I want to help. Honestly, you can. Good. Good. I've been recruiting for the rebellion for a long time. We destroyed our home. I fight the Empire now. Certainly. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. Great. The captain says you are a friend. I will not kill you. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Oh, that's a great shot. Every day they grow stronger. There is a 97.6% chance of failure. He means well. This is our chance. Me. All the way. <gasps> yep, there he is. All right, all right. Okay, so that was a great trailer. I didn't even look the dog out of the Why the entire time? How did you know? Because I, my search to put that Vader's going to be in this next trailer, so I'm waiting for him to pop up. I was like, is Vader still not here? Where is he? It's like, is he at Rogue One? I was like, is it? There he is. Okay, that's exactly what I need. They I say need the best Vader. They say the Vader's best. in the movie. That was a great character one. I love the character there. Denny Wong's character. I think that's named Denny Wong. Let me check it out. Yeah, the guy from Ant Man. The what? The Boom. blind guy with the force. So like, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, that's not blind, but I'm sure he's going to kick ass. Not persistent. Exactly, a Jedi or a user of the Force, but someone who believes in it. And just that's... like, like, um, what's her name from uh, the last Star Wars that we just had, uh, The Force Awakens. Donnie Yen is the one I'm thinking. Donnie Yen. Okay, Donnie Yen. Yes. But yeah, so he's just gonna be basically uh, another uh, what's her name, Maz Kanaz. Yes. Exactly. She don't know how to use it, but she knows it well. Yeah. Just like this guy. Well, mm -hmm. it's, well, actually, in one of the deleted scenes that they didn't put on there, but it might become up in the next version of Star Wars: The Force Awakens. There was a scene where she actually was able to use the Force, but they didn't. They cut out the movie. Why did they? Not sure. It was just cut. I'm not. Sure. Wait, was that is that in the DVD? 
It's not in the DVD. We have might be in the one coming up next, the one with more stuff in it. The next, there's gonna be another. Uh, uh, you didn't hear about that, but yeah, there's a uh, three D Blu Ray that has more than the scenes in it, and also the director's commentary. Something I thought should have been in the actual Blu Ray. Yeah, but, but you know. <laughs> so onto the trailer. More behind the scenes stuff, but oh boy, that trailer was. You guys want to say about it? Got it. <laughs> I think he thinks it was a good trailer. Very opinionated on the trailer, this young dog. Um, <laughs> But I'm, I am so great. I, I want to see this movie mainly because this is a story, a Star Wars episode that we've never seen before. It's like it's from something the, that's like not along a well, it is along the main storyline, but not from the main. You okay, buddy? I just cough it. It's more of a like this is a group of people who have no experience with the Force at all. Mm-hmm. They just like, this is the they're first just regular people, that. just me or you, or whatever. Yeah. Just you know. Like Poe Dameron people yeah squadron, like, like if it was around Poe Dameron it, they had no Ray or Mark Hill and they're like none of that it's just that it's just story. these guys well maybe Vader a little bit but besides that I'm not sure how big a player he's gonna be in he's this probably story. just gonna be like you know what I feel a disturbance and then he's probably just gonna lead on oh wait 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 okay what if they were to do like a lead up to like the beginning of the first Star Wars A New Hope that's like, what it is no, I mean, like, right at the end, it's like they give the plans to her. Yeah. And then, uh... That's what this is. He's over there. That's what this is. Oh. <laughs> this entire thing is about the plans. They had to get them to Leia. They, even the person who played Bill Organa in episode three and two is going to be in this movie, and that's what they're going to plan, because he's on Alderaan mm-hmm. when, you know... Uh, wait, spoiler. Wait, 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 wait. Vader's on Alderaan right No. Now. Bill Organa's on Alderaan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, what's Vader doing on Alderaan before he goes to this? Vader goes, I guess he's looking forward. No, he's on the Death Star. You, they, they got an entire movie about that. You know he's not on Alderaan. <laughs> well, maybe this is taking place before, so we don't know what happened before he uh, went back to the Death Star. No, the Rebellion's already up right now, and Alderaan's been suspected of being the leader of it, which they were, so. Yeah. So Vader would have no place being there. I want to see more of that blind guy kicking ass. Yeah, it's going to be great. I want to see who the hell that sharpshooter was, too. I want to see more of him. I want to see more of a... Uh, Crap, what's his name? What's his name? Uh... Forrest Whitaker. Bingo! Yes, there yeah. we go. You can tell us from the reshoot, too, because in the first teaser trailer, he didn't have the uh, all that hair on his head. So yeah. Now, it's like, okay, that's definitely a reshoot image. Yeah. In, 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 oh, in, no, a reshoot. Oh, God. Guess what? Reshoots happen. They, they, yeah, they, yeah they, happens. They, they happen. All they movies happen have all, reshoots. All the time. Captain Every, America Civil War had reshoots. <laughs> tons of them. Boy. It was a pretty exciting trailer, especially at the end, like... Like, what are you talking about? I was I was not expecting to see Darth Vader at all. I was like, okay, maybe there's hints of Darth Vader being in there for even, like, I don't know, just a cameo. I was like, okay, I'm here for two seconds and I'm gone. I, know, I always said that Vader was going to definitely be in this trailer. I wonder how they're going to play this out. And of course, they're going to have to bring uh, James Earl Jones back into this. Oh, yeah. That, that really that's who's voicing Vader. I mean, there's no reason not to have him voicing him. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is... That... It, it's going to be an interesting journey, but I already know it's not going to end well for that squad. You might say that they are a, a suicide squad. Oh my shit! <laughs> Listen, dude, this might be Suicide Squad, but good. <laughs> in, this in, also, the, in space. This is probably the Suicide Squad that we always wanted. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Disney can get it right. <laughs> Alright, well it's time to rate the thing. What do you give it? I give it... Okay, I'll just run. Four out of five Vader voices. Uh, four out of five. Wow. Just by the way, I mean, even with the trailer, all those shots and like the even the the Death Star upside down because we don't need to see it the other way. But since there is no upside down in space, it doesn't really matter which way it approaches the planet. Yeah, it doesn't. And the shots like the Star Destroyer over the over that over that mountain on the planet, and you see ships going up to it, and it's like talking about the flags behind. It's like it's very reminiscent of like the Nazi occupation in other countries. Like this is. Full, this is like a full on war story which is I'm really excited for I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 5 out of 5? yes I may I, give the movie a 5 I, out of 5 but right now I, I, I gotta for this movie <laughs> I'm hyped too but it's just I don't know it's just yeah I'm sticking with the 4 out of 5 alright yeah I may give the movie a 5, a five out of 5 though may you may alright well that's it uh, we're signing out for this one check out our other videos on there feel free to subscribe and like uh, my name's Jelani. My name is Collier. All right, and Fighting Wombat out. Peace.